are in search of aspartame, an ingredient that's a neurotoxin as well as a carcinogen. So we're in the soda aisle. That's usually a pretty good place to start. Let's see if we can find it. Uh, Diet Coke. Let's start there. Diet Coke. And we'll look at the ingredients here. And there it is, aspartame. I mean, the, the thing about the carcinogen aspartame is it accounts for more reports of adverse reaction than any other foods and food additives combined. That's pretty scary. This stuff right here causes uh, lymphoma, diabetes, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, emotional disorders like depression, anxiety attacks, dizziness, headaches, nausea, mental confusion, migraines, and seizures. Aspartame, big no-no. Keep that one out of your diet. No good for you, your kids, or anyone else. Let's see what we can find next. Diet Pepsi more aspartame. As a matter of fact, it even labels it right there in big bold letters, right? Aspartame. Diet 7-Up, aspartame. Diet Mountain Dew, aspartame. French version, aspartame still. If you think you're a hero because you drink Coke Zero, you're totally wrong. Aspartame. No bueno. Ready for my aspartame? Crystal Light. Crystal Light has bingo, aspartame. Everything has aspartame. Aw, jello, sweetened with aspartame. Nitrates, bad stuff. Sodium nitrate is actually used as a preservative and a food coloring in things like bacon, ham, lunch meats, hot dogs, any type of processed meat. You can see it all, it's everywhere. This stuff isn't good. This stuff wreaks havoc on several internal organs, especially the liver and the pancreas in general. Sodium nitrate, they tried to ban sodium nitrate actually in the 1970s, but the food organizations lobbied against it, claiming that they didn't have any other means to preserve these type of meats. Can you believe it? So instead they put uh, a carcinogen in them. Okay, so we just got kicked out of that grocery store. <laughs> Because customers were complaining that we were talking bad about hot dogs, hamburgers, and processed meats, and we used the word sodium nitrate, and they didn't like that when they were buying it. So consequently, now we have to go find another store. We're in store number two now. Uh, check this stuff out. This is honey, garlic, and pepperoni. And they say soy-free, gluten-free, lactose-free, no MSG added. So it actually sounds, to a meat eater, like it's a pretty good deal, right? Sodium nitrates. Kind of ruins the whole thing. Bacon. Sodium nitrates. Fresh black forest ham. Sodium nitrates. Sodium nitrates. This is a mecca of sodium nitrates. Ugh. Okay, acrylamide. Now acrylamide isn't an ingredient, but acrylamide is created through a baking, a frying, a cooking, a barbecuing process, okay? And that's over, I think, 228 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want to know more about acrylamide, go to planetearth.com, and I wrote an article about acrylamide. It's extremely extensive, and you can get all the information there. Pecan pie, acrylamide. Donuts, acrylamide. Blueberry muffins, acrylamide. Apple turnovers, acrylamide. Cinnamon buns, acrylamide. Look at this, luscious lemon muffins, acrylamide. Everything here is acrylamide. Your breads, acrylamide. I mean, we've got whole grain bread, we've got Italian bread, we've got white bread, we've got wheat bread. I mean, wonder, Italian, everything. We've got great value, 100% whole grain bread, all acrylamide. Acrylamide is a carcinogen. A carcinogen is a substance or agent known to cause cancer. Acrylamide is bad. Frosted fudge cakes. Acrylamide. Check this out. This is McDonald's, and you can see the line in there of people standing, waiting to buy their food. And then you've got people in there eating and everything else. Okay? If they're eating the french fries, that's 300 times the recommended allowance of acrylamide. 300 times. And people are in there lining up to eat those french fries. If they're eating the bun of the hamburger, acrylamide. Okay, we've hit the mother load of acrylamide. This is like the acrylamide section of the entire store. Let's check it out.
frozen french fries, acrylamide. Hash browns, acrylamide. Tater tots, acrylamide. Potato patties, acrylamide. Oh. Sweet potato fries, acrylamide. Let's move down just a little bit and see what else we have in this mecca of stuff. Frozen pizzas, acrylamide. And there's a lot of them. Look at that. Look at all the different types of pizzas. Absolutely amazing. Except they have acrylamide in them. What do we got in here? Take a guess. Acrylamide. Let's jump on the other side and see if we can get away from acrylamide. Oh my god, we can. The captain's crew has got us. Captain's crew nuggets, acrylamide. But these are pub style chicken breast McNuggets. Acrylamide. Honey garlic chicken wings, acrylamide, and probably monosodium glutamate. Oh, my favorite. Mozzarella sticks. Acrylamide. I had to say that because someone that worked here was walking by. I hate these things. You couldn't pay me to put that carcinogen in my body. It's disgusting. Oh, we're getting closed in on this might be our, it might be the end of our second store. <laughs> Maybe we'll have to move to a third. Talk about artificial colors really quick. Uh, especially artificial red, blue, and yellow. All of those are already banned in places like Sweden, France, and Norway because they're so bad. They cause chromosome damage. Like, that's not a good thing. And people are putting these colorings in everything when it comes to food. Um, we're in the antacid section. We had to come up here and hide from security. But Tums, for instance. You can see that there's red and blue already in there right now, okay? We already know that those are carcinogens, known to cause cancer, as well as change chromosome function. But everything you look at has a color. Look at these Tums, blue. Here we go. We're representing all the bad colors now. We've got blue, yellow, and red. And then there's some green thrown in there too. These people are not my friends. Magically delicious. Acrylamide. Food coloring. Red, blue, and yellow. No. Yellow snack packs. On sale for a buck. I already see two known carcinogens in these things. Okay? We can see that we're using red food dye which is a carcinogen, and carrageenan, which is a carcinogen. And these were made for kids. Ridiculous. Organic avocados. Known ingredient, avocados. Not so bad. Persimmons. Known ingredient, persimmons. Red and green bell pepper. Known ingredients, red and green bell pepper. And ginger. Known ingredients? Ginger and zucchini. It's starting to make sense now, isn't it? <laughs> um, packaged foods, just in case there's a question there, we have organic girl baby spring mix. Active ingredients? Spring mix. <laughs> Go organic baby girl. See ya. Okay, so that was an interesting experience. As you could all tell, it was extremely easy to pick up just about anything and find either a carcinogen or a harmful agent or chemical in the food. So, the thing that isn't going to kill you is fruits, nuts, seeds, and vegetables, right? But uh, anything processed, chemical processed, um, altered chemically, definitely is going to create and wreak havoc on your body. Thanks. See you later. Bye.